excited about this one. Welcome back everyone to 3 Acorn Bourbon. We've got another bite-sized bourbon review for all of you today. It's going to be Blanton's Straight From The Barrel. It's Blanton's version of an uncut, unfiltered bourbon, straight from the barrel, right into the bottle. And it's a single barrel bourbon, meaning it's not mixed. All of the bourbon in this bottle came from the same barrel. A lot of people view that as preferable. Um, I don't know, if you mix whiskeys, you get a more consistent product but it's certainly more interesting. The idea of a single barrel bourbon means that it might be really difficult to replicate this taste profile. And so it's kind of more interesting and more personalized. And each barrel produces somewhere around 200, 750 mil bottles. Yeah. Hey. Yeah? It's okay. So this expression of Blanton's is cask strength, meaning depending on the barrel, it should come in between 125 to 130 proof. Looks like this one is 127.3 proof it's basically like right down the middle if you want to learn more about Blanton's and taters in bourbon culture more generally go check out my Blanton's review video we cover Blanton's their place in the Buffalo Trace distillery the little collectible horse toppers and taters taters which I'm kind of geeking out over straight from the barrel Blanton's maybe I'm kind of guilty of it too let he who is without sin cast the first stone but whatever, I'm really excited about it. I've been looking forward to opening this bottle up. And I think the time has come. Now I know it used to be true, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Straight From The Barrel is only available on the shelves in Europe and Japan. And if you want to get it in the States, you gotta order it. Or receive it as a gift. The Blanton's Whiskey Expression is named after distillery president Colonel Albert B. Blanton. The Blanton's brand launched in 1984 by Elmer T. Lee, who introduced the world to Blanton's single barrel bourbon one year before he retired. And then Elmer T. Lee has a bourbon named after him, so is that kind of how it works? Do you become the distillery president, make a whiskey and name it after an earlier distillery president, and then retire, and then you get a bourbon named after you? It's a pretty good gig. Blanton's Straight From The Barrel is the third expression from the Blanton's whiskey lineup, the first one being the original, 93 proof, the second one being Blanton's Gold, bottled at 103 proof. Here's a Blanton's Straight From The Barrel, looking at the color, and here's an original Blanton's 93 proof. See if we can tell a difference in the color. I don't know, not much of one. Maybe straight from the barrel's a little darker. Less clear. I don't know, they're pretty similar. Well, I really like Blanton's, and I really like cast strength bourbon. Gotta get into these tasting notes. Start with the nose here. I mean, it's Blanton's, it's just dialed up. I mean, you get those raisins, dried fruit, orange zest. Yeah, yeah. It's a little buttery, it's a little butterscotch, kind of hazelnut. It's rich, dark chocolate, it's a lot of toasted oak. I don't really smell too much of the proof on it like I was expecting. I mean, it smells over 100 proof, but it doesn't hit you with this ethanol blast. Probably the best way to describe it is it's just Blanton's, but it's deeper, it's richer, it's a bit more complex. Man, I really like it. It's very inviting. All right, we got to go for the palate. Ooh, there's the proof. Not really on the nose, but definitely on the palate. What? What? So first thing, if you like Blanton's, you're gonna love this. It's the classic vanilla, caramel, honey, oak, butterscotch. It's got those classic Buffalo Trace fruits, and it's got the Blanton's darker fruits, that plum, fig, and especially raisin. It's just big and intense, and it kind of drinks a little hot. It's that Buffalo Trace mash bill too, with a bit more rye, and a whole lot more proof. I mean, it definitely, it definitely, it definitely tingles the mouth, kind of stings the tongue. Do you want to do the rest of the video? Nice warming vanilla and some toasted nuts. I mean, it doesn't drink so hot that it takes away from the enjoyment of the bourbon. But if you already have some trouble with that Kentucky hug, this one is, a uh, really hugs you. Big old bear hug. But that isn't out of the blue for a cask strength bourbon. I don't know. I don't mind it. And I'm drinking this one neat. Maybe with a splash of water that would help. It's like an old fashioned that somebody made with orange bitters and orange simple syrup. And then they added like a touch of raisin, fig, prune, kind of dark fruit syrup. 
and then they got a bunch of needles and did acupuncture on your tongue. We've all been there. So on the finish, it's long, long finish. All of the flavors stick around. Obviously the sweetness fades a bit quicker than the spice in the oak, but it's still there. And it's a pretty dry finish. I mean, my mouth is dry right now. It's toasted oak, it's regular oak, and it's a high proof. That rye spice sticks around. There's still that sweetness, there's still that orange, there's still the raisin and the vanilla. It's been a while since my last sip and it's still there. Yeah, I mean, this is an excellent bourbon. I'm not sure I'd want to pay full secondary, $350, $400 for this. I don't think I'd want to spend that on any bourbon. But man, what a treat. It's got everything you want from a bourbon. And it's really fun to drink. That's something special. Extremely happy with that bourbon. And my baby stopped making noise. I don't know, is she asleep? I can't see her face. Well, that's all I wanted to cover today, and apparently I bored my baby to sleep. We got a chance to try a really rare and really excellent bourbon. Blanton's at cask strength. It's probably going to be good. It did not disappoint. Just remember, folks, bourbon, it's made for sharing. So open your bottles, make some memories, and I'll see you in the next one.